A few days ago, Rive released the ability to integrate scrolling sections within layouts, both horizontal and vertical scrolling. This feature also integrates a number of different options that allow you to really fine tune said scrolling. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a horizontal scrolling section of cards. So let's get started. All right, so here we have a new artboard. I'm just gonna choose something like 1920, 1080, just for this quick demo. And to get started, what I'll do is take the um, background color, we're gonna make it almost black right around there. All right, great. So inside of here, we're gonna create um, kind of what you would call an overall just layout container. And to do that, we're just gonna click Add Child Layout and we'll just call this container. All right. And inside of there, we don't want a background for this, so we'll just click the minus for the background. And then inside of here, we're gonna create another layout. All right, and inside of here, um, we're also not going to have a background. So with that selected, let's go over here. We're going to get rid of that. We're also going to add some uh, a lot of padding on the overall container. So the padding, I guess, we'll have um, from the top and bottom. We'll just do 100 and then 100 here as well. And this little outline is because of the layout. So we can, we can toggle that layout outline feature off. All right. So in here, we're gonna call this content, and then we're gonna have our individual cards. Let's say, for instance, we have a cards and we want a horizontal scroll situation to occur. Okay, so the first thing is I'm gonna create a layout inside of there, so add child layout. And inside of this one, uh, with this layout, we're just gonna rename this to card. And for the card here, we don't want it to fill, we wanna have a height that is, I uh, well, the height is gonna be fill, but the width will be fixed because we're doing a horizontal layout. So now we can kind of construct, you know, what we envision to be the height of our cards to, or the width of our cards to be. Right there looks pretty good. I will change this background to something just slightly um, lighter than the background. And we'll also get the corner radius up just a tad bit. Yeah, around 15 is pretty good. Okay, now that we have that, what we can do is with our content, we can see if we take our card real quickly, you don't have to do this, and we replicate it, we could see everything um, off the screen essentially. And that's because our content doesn't have clips. So we wanna clip the content um, right there. Now we could clip it here, but it actually makes sense to do it in the overall viewport container right here. So let's clip that instead. And we can clip this one as well. Okay, not instead, but as well, I guess. So now we could take the content and we can add some horizontal gap right here. Ah, there we go. All right, now within our card right here, this element, um, let's quickly just create some dummy content. So I'm gonna take the type tool, left click right here. Of course, it's not inside the card yet, but it will be. Um, scroll fun, I guess we could say, and we'll take that text. Um, I've been liking to use man rope lately, and then we'll make that bold, increase the size, scroll fun, right around there looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this. So control C, control V, put this down here, and then inside of here, I'm just gonna extend this out a bit, and we're gonna make this much smaller, like size 18, make it regular, maybe make it size like 22. Okay, and then real quickly, I'm gonna type in here something like, this is an absolutely delight, <laughs> that's stupid, delightful way to integrate, scroll, stuff in your Rive projects. Okay, the worst copy ever, right? Okay, so now I'm, we have these two text elements. Let's increase the spacing here just a bit. Okay, so now we'll take both of these. We're going to select both and we are going to lay out the selection. So you can right click, wrap in layout. All right, and then we'll take layout and shove it inside of card two, which happens to be this card. Then we can go ahead and take card two and we can add some padding around it. So let's see here, padding, um, just to 
get things lined up. 40 and 40 looks good. And then, yeah, let's put it down there. I think right there would be just fine. Now let's take our card. We want the width to be fill. All right, the height we can leave at hug. And then inside of here, we also have our layout, which is set to hug hug for the title. And then also um, we want to do fill for that as well. Okay. So that was just a quick, you know, just so we have some card based content in here. Um, one thing I'll do is decrease that. Okay. Now, so kind of silly looking cards, obviously you might want to have an icon or fill this out a little, little bit more content, but that's, you know, for another con a video. So what we'll do now is I want to take, um, content here and real quickly I just to get one out there I'm going to duplicate it except I'm going to gut everything inside of it delete all right and we're going to take the overall container and we're going to change this to a column all right so now we have content underneath and for the height we don't want to fill it um, we could put hug now before I do that I'm going to add a child layout this is going to be our scroll bar by the way so the child layout um, we can see we have um, our layout here and we're just going to decrease the size kind of like a thin scroll bar right there and then hug is just uh, I'm sorry the height for the content and we're just call it scroll container is going to be hug okay so now we can take our overall container and increase the vertical gap wait yeah that's right the vertical gap like right around there that looks pretty good. And then for our actual layout, we'll just call this thumb. And for the width, it's gonna be fixed right around here. It doesn't matter where because it's gonna automatically resize here in a second. So uh, before we integrate the thumb though, what we can do is we can start tying this up to the system um, for scrolling. So the first thing is to take our content um, content container and then we go to constraints and we add a scroll and we designate this as the content all right so if we go to animate now and hit play then that oh, it's not working why is that up oh, that's because it's set by default as a regular vertical scroll but that's not what we're trying to integrate so we go back here change this to horizontal now you can see we have other um, options here such as the strength, the physics, elastic, we can clamp it, we can snap it, and you can play around with all of those features just to see what they do. And one thing that we need to do is to take our content container and based on this being a horizontal scroll, then the width needs to change to hug. So now if we go back to uh, animate and we could pull this over and drag it now. So that's cool, but in order to get the actual little thumb tracker working here, the scroll bar, what we can do is come down here to thumb and we place a constraint this time with the scroll bar thumb designation. All right. And we can also change, you know, this to horizontal. Um, and we also need to specify the content container that it will control. All right. So notice how it automatically resizes this element, right? Uh, the, the actual container based on the amount of content that's inside. So now if we hit play, we can take this and drag it. And now it is working. Look how cool that is. And this also works by dragging. So super cool. Um, just to give you a little bit of a quicker idea, we can delete those cards that didn't have the content. And let's say, you know, you would take time to modify certain properties and make these unique from each other. You know, maybe this has high color here. We'll add some different color here. Kind of ugly colors. Nonetheless, if I hit play, um, we could kind of see how they all work in unison with each other. Very, very cool. Of course, we can also, real quickly, last thing we'll do is take this um, and change the content here to snap, which is very cool. So the way this works is if we hit play now, um, it'll snap to certain card locations based on how much the cards are in the viewport. Very, very cool. 
All right, everybody, if you're interested in learning more about Rive, make sure to check the YouTube description here for my upcoming Rive for Web course, where we're in 2025, very shortly around the corner. We're gonna be creating a full course that's gonna show you how to utilize Rive for web layouts specifically. All right, everybody, I will see you soon and goodbye.